Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, Know Everything. I'm Nikhil Kumar, an associate software engineer in SNP Global. I got selected into the company through college placements. I am from EIT, Wellar Institute of Technology. So in this video, I'm gonna share all about uh, the process of the selection and what was my experience throughout the rounds and at the end of the video i'll also share some tips and tricks that helped me crack uh, snp global interview so before we dive into the video let's just understand a little bit about snp global because most of the people and even i didn't know about what the company is about like what does it do and what is the work culture and um, does it pay good and answer to these questions is SNP Global is a financial services company and uh, it's a MNC multinational company based out of uh, US so there are multiple locations throughout the world and in India there is four places that is Gurgaon, Hyderabad, Bangalore, Ahmedabad there are other places also Mumbai and Kolkata but uh, it is not for the uh, engineering domain apart from that what is the work culture work culture is really good and I can vouch for it the seniors are really really good and uh, they help you understand a lot of things because whatever you learn in the college won't help you that's the reality uh, you have to learn a lot of other concepts which in this company they does not make it feel like you are an outsider or you are directly coming from college they'll make you understand it and that was my experience so i can vouch for it the work culture is really good and they pay you really good also um, for that you can see some of the sites which tells you the salary like ambition box or uh, glass door uh, it was pretty much accurate uh, not exact number but uh, approximately they are very close so let's just get started with the video what is the process and how uh, what were the rounds which happened so it all started in the month of january we got a, a email from snp global obviously that comes through placement cell uh, which states some eligibility criteria what role they were looking for they were looking for associate software engineer uh, which is equivalent to sd1 and uh, which domain they were looking like they were very specific with the job description like what is the uh, job opening for what we will be doing so it was pretty impressive because they said that it would be a full stack development role it won't be specific to any particular role like you will be doing only back end you will be doing only front end uh, or you will be doing only the DevOps. It would be a mix of everything. And uh, it was great for anyone who is not pretty sure about what domain they are really interested like me. So you can explore everything at the early stage of your career and you can choose the right path. And uh, apart from that, they were very much clear with their CTC. Uh, they did not specify any CTC. They said what the fixed would be and uh, during that time you won't get the importance of what fixed and what is the difference between a ctc and a fixed uh, fixed is a component that you will be receiving in hand so they just mentioned what would be the fixed what is the ctc they did not mention they said you will know when you get the offer but there were other companies who told that you'll be receiving 20 lpa ctc so people thought they would be getting more than one lakh but the reality was they included a lot of ESOPs component, joining bonus and other kind of components which you don't receive in hand. So their in hand fixed salary was coming down to six to seven, which was not that good. But SMP was uh, pretty much honest with that and they kept it very simple for us to understand, which was really good. And uh, then we get 48 hours to apply for the job um, and uh, our resumes are already there in the portal 
So we just need to click on apply and they will apply for it. So I applied for it and uh, there was no restriction on the domain or like the course which could apply. It was not restricted to only computer science. There were people from mechanical, electrical and all sorts of uh, places, not re or not only for BTEC, integrated, MTEC, anyone can apply for this. So a lot of people applied. Uh, the first round uh, people who got selected for first round were nearly 2000 and above. So there were a lot of people who got selected and uh, the CGPA that they were looking out was 7.5 and above. And I was pretty much lucky in that case because I maintained my CGPA above 9. I was having 9.19, which is 9.2 CGPA. So I was pretty much sorted on that sector. So round one, we received an email from HackRank, uh, which was having 90 questions, which we need to solve in two hours. 88 questions were aptitude uh, concept based like networking, DBMS, uh, OS operating system and uh, programming concepts like OOPS concepts or uh, syntax errors and sorting algorithms, DSA basically. So that kind of questions. And the last two were um, recording questions which was i can rate them as easy to medium not so tough um, one was related to a sorting algorithm so which i was able to do it it was not that tough uh, and the second was um, graph related question and that too it was not that tough it was related to uh, bfs if i recall it right so it was not that tough. It was pretty much what we have learned in the theory. They are as that level. So it I can say it is easy to medium according to our preparation, not hard at all. So that's very good. So it went good. I solved most of the questions, but uh, there's a concept that comes into the picture, which is uh, time when you submitted it and what is the time complexity. It doesn't matter that much if you are uh, solved it pretty soon. But um, if you took late, uh, like a lot of time to solve it, it might come into the picture. Like if uh, the recruiting team is looking out for certain number of people. So if there are 2000 people in round one, they will have an upper limit of 500 people, let's suppose. So in that case, uh, even though your answer might be right, but you took more time than the person who solved it before you will obviously get opportunity. So that kind of things also happen. So even though I solved it or anyone who solved it, they cannot be certain that they'll be getting into the round two unless they have outperformed the system and they were really good. So I was not sure, but uh, after four days, we received an round two email and from 2000 people, we were left with uh, 300 people. So, that is around only 10 to 15 percent people, 15 percent people, 15 to 20 percent people were only left. So uh, it was fine then. Then round two started where it was mostly technical round and uh, we had to give the introduction. I gave my introduction about uh, what I was doing in my internship because that time I was doing internship in uh, Forbes advisory. Uh, that is a child company of Forbes and uh, as a cloud automation engineer. So I explained about my project and what tools I was using. So mostly my questions were revolving around that. What Kubernetes is, what Docker is and uh, what is the project that I am doing and how can I uh, increase the efficiency? What would be the horizontal scaling? Uh, that could be applied for this project and all that kind of concepts were being tested. And uh, when I was doing my internship, I was really interested into this cloud computing stuff. So I read it very really well and uh, I answered it with an examples also. So that um, made him feel that I know the concepts. So, and one more thing that I wanted to share was the interview experience was really good in both round two and round three because of the panel that I got. And I was very lucky in that case 
that my panel made sure that uh, I was comfortable enough to answer. They didn't directly start, uh, what's your name, start your introduction. Before that, they asked me about uh, how was your day? What did you do uh, for the preparation? How is VIT? Like what is the preparation and how that uh, all kind of questions which were normally not judged and they told that they are not judging on the questions that they are answer, uh, questioning right now. So you can answer freely. So I was pretty comfortable. And after that, I answered uh, very well. So all thanks to the panel. And uh, then they asked me about uh, the coding question. They told me to share my screen and solve a problem. It was a practical problem, more related to investments, deals and all that. Uh, like there are a number of deals being created. There are a number of investors. They have certain criteria. So how would you sort them and how would you get the best investor for the best deal that they want? So it was not that tough in, in terms of uh, what data structure you will be using and what algorithm you will be using. That would be pretty easy. It would be some kind of sorting algorithm or uh, the data structure would be array list or something like that would be used map. Uh, but the concept that they were testing was, are we able to understand the financial terms and uh, the, the real life problem? That was the core that they were looking for. And uh, yeah, it uh, helped me because I was pretty much sure about the question that they were asked. So I asked them, obviously I asked them, did I understand it well? This is what I'm looking out for. And this is the approach that I am gonna follow. And um, obviously, they helped me out they suggested some things and it went very well uh at the end they asked me a riddle that's when i struggled a bit because i was not able to solve the riddle but at the end i was able to come to uh, the approach that i'm gonna follow that's what i told them uh, even though the answer at the end did not uh, match with the right answer and at the end, they explained me the answer too. So it was great, but I was not able to answer the riddle. So that was something which I was not able to answer. So I was a little nervous that if uh, other people who have answered it will get selected. And uh, fortunately, he was impressed with the technical knowledge. So he pushed my name into the round three. So I got selected into the round three. Round three would be taken by director level uh, person. So again, he made sure that I was comfortable enough. And then we started discussing about um, what all opportunities I am looking out for because this round is the last round. And uh, he made sure that it is not only the technical terms that he was looking out he made sure it was kind of like a HR plus technical round. So he was asking me what opportunities I am looking out for, why I applied for it and uh, why you are leaving the other company where you're doing the internship and you are really liking it. Why not continue in the job? So these were really tricky questions because you have to answer in a wise way. You cannot directly say, uh, that that company offers me less or that company is not so well known. Uh, you They don't want that kind of answer. There should be a genuine reason that you uh, are willing to work in the company. And uh, he also wanted to know that I know about the company. So he asked me uh, what SNP is, what does it do and how many uh, financial terms do I know? Uh, what I mean by that is, do I know about the financial services like mutual funds or investments, investment uh, banking and all that. So even though I didn't know much, but I sure I assured them that I have the willingness to learn. So that helped. And uh, at the end, he wanted me to write an SQL query for uh, there were multiple tables in which there were usernames and in that we need to find the duplicates in all the tables and we need to have only the top one uh, based on the create timestamp. 
and uh, rest all should be deleted so it was like an inner join not that tough of a question but that has the concepts of inner join and foreign key primary key kind of stuff so i was able to uh, answer that and uh, he was happy with that and uh, overall this was uh, the process that happened and after three to four days uh 26th of feb we got the email from our uh, placement uh, cell that uh, we got selected and uh, i cannot sit for the for the placements because this is a super dream company and uh, it was all happy moments yeah it went really good uh, hope this video gives you a rough overview of the process that happened and my experience and it helps you guys to crack the interview and join the company and uh, this is the important part which is the resources and the tips and tricks tip is always that in interviews communicate your ideas very well communication is the key like it's the bridge between you getting selected or rejected so even though in the riddle part where i was not able to answer the question it doesn't matter because i was able to communicate my idea even though the idea might be wrong but the process of how you are explaining it the approach might be right so uh, if you remember when we write the answers during our 12th standard it was always mentioned that you have to apply the concepts and uh, it doesn't matter that you come to the right answer at the end if you have wrote the approach right you will still get the marks so in that way you have to communicate your idea ask questions to the interviewer and he'll definitely help you out uh, that's what i have seen in my interviews that i have given and uh, yeah for resources obviously you need to uh, go through geeks for geeks that's the go to website for any concept related thing and for dsa uh, for algorithms i followed abdul bahari sir uh, his videos were quite impressive you will understand in one go and um, if you have only one month to prepare uh, so definitely go through the geeks for geeks have uh, the concepts important concepts and now that you have so many ai tool perplexity uh, chat gpt uh, all the important topics you can just have a rough overview understand it uh, and prepare as much as possible for the coding rounds that will help data structure and algorithm is important take it seriously so my mool mantra would be only three things you need to follow one would be the dsa important you need to follow that second would be your communication skills communication skills plays a very vital role and third would be your concepts which is os networking dbms and aptitude that's all you need to crack any good level company so any other questions do let me know in the comment sections i'll make a q and a video where i can have a interaction with you guys and uh, we can have a, a good session of that video um yeah so i made this video pretty long i want to cut it short so like share and subscribe and that will motivate me to make new videos for you people and uh, i'm a small youtuber so there won't be any cuts and there would be a lot of mistakes in the video please forgive me for that and uh, if you like this video do share it with your friends subscribe to the channel and write down uh, any questions that you have and anything that you want to say to me in the comment section follow me on my linkedin i'll give the linkedin uh, profile link in the uh, comment section or in the uh, description so to connect with me and uh, hope to see you soon all the best